sovereign citizen do? That means, guys, you are a sovereign citizen from Israel. I know all about the gold bridge and how fraudulent it is. They hit me with a really strong dose of OC spray. I want to speak to you, Jess Soldier, now! I know the laws, buddy, and I'm waiting for you to do something wrong so I can sue you in the pocket. I pay for that uniform, I pay for that car, I'm the taxpayer, right? Hi folks, this is going to be a pretty long one, so let's get right into it. Today's idiot is Chris Throgmorton. He's a frequent flyer on my channel. Let's see some of the highlights of his dumb. Go get my paperwork. I don't know what part about this you guys don't understand. He doesn't have any authority and I know it. This is a civil matter, ma'am. She's answering This is question. a civil matter that you I don't have any involvement in my business, so. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Let's not get. You don't have any more legitimate business to conduct. You've gotten your answer from her. You're not my attorney. Why do you want to, why do you want to harass people? Where are you? The corporate sign off for me? Arrest me again. Falsely arrest me. I will arrest again. you. Do it you. then, big girl. Do it. Then do not touch me. Do not touch me. That's assault. I want to press charges right now. Uh, no, no, no. I got a crime that I want to report. Don't fucking touch me. Don't touch me. I'm backing up from a threat. Do not touch me, bitch. Get the fuck off of me. Uh, my hands are up. Don't touch me. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. Call for assistance. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. I'm not resisting. Stop resisting. I'm not resisting shit. Stop resisting. Nobody's resisting, man. Well, I'm calling for my fucking girlfriend. I'm terrified. Terrified. I haven't done anything. Put your hands behind your back, Chris. Put your hands behind your back. Your paperwork. I'm not resisting. I'm not resisting. Put your hands behind your back if you're not resisting. I got my arms. Sorry. I don't know where anything's at right now. I'm sorry. I'm not resisting. I just want to be able to breathe. You can breathe. breathe. He's not restricting your area. I'm, I'm sorry. I just, I just have a court order for paperwork, man. We understand that. Did he have a trespass from here? No, I don't. It's invalid. That's what that paperwork I'm asking for proves. No, but I, I, gave have, him, I gave you several. Can I gather my property and show you guys nope, what I have? Go get it. No, nope, so, you're not going to get that stuff today, Christopher. That's what man. we've been trying to tell you. Mr. Yeah. I can't wait to tell this you, man. That's his phone. Right here's the camera. My, fam my camera, please don't touch it. Let's just can I see it? it? And can I make sure? Yes. Can you hit that red button? That was pretty dumb, but it gets worse. I will defend myself. If you need to put your hands on me and batter me, then I will need to defend myself. Please don't touch me. I'm if you touch me, you. I will defend myself up to and including federal to force. Please! I swear to God! Please! Look! 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 I'm fucking disabled! I'm not resisting! I'm not resisting! I'm not resisting! Let go of my radio! He's trying to take my camera! Give me your hand! Give me your hand! Stop resisting! Help! He's breaking my arm! Stop breaking my arm! Help! 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 Give me your hand! Help! Put your hand behind your back! Help! 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 Give me your hand! Help! 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 So it's finally come time for Mr. Throgmorton to go to court for his arrest. And he is supremely confident. You see, Chris fancies himself a genius, and he's absolutely sure that he is not only going to win, but that everybody else will be the ones to go to jail. I know that I'm smarter than, than newbie Lewis, Kaminsky, and Jones all combined. So what I did was I set you guys up to pay him for manipulating confidential information with your own city code, as well as I have a pre-approved claim because I went to a public meeting and told you guys flat out what my terms were. I don't want to go to court if you force me to go for a frivolous lawsuit, I'll go, but my fee is $5 million. So the city of Laporte owes me $5 million and I'll be to collect it. I'll send you paperwork or you can pay me straight up. When I find out, when I find a way to connect this to money, I'm going for RICO. Just so everybody's clear on where I'm going with it. I'm that cold that I'll be forward with you guys. I'm going for RICO. 
Once I can prove that there was a crime and money involved, I'm going for RICO. That allows me to name everybody equally. You can all go to federal prison, but I'm not going to have my rights violated. You know who I am? My name is Chris Throgmorton. I'm the worst thing that happened to anybody with a public servant job around here. What are your aspirations and goals? I like you. I've seen you in court. You could go far around here, especially once I get rid of all the corrupt ones. I'll be sending the city attorney to prison here soon. The majority of the prosecutor's office, um, a whole bunch of the police department. I'm pretty much going to be in control the politics around here at this point. Are you point. looking for an attorney for your criminal case? Or no, I'm looking for a new that? city attorney once I send this one to prison. I mean, here's That's the thing, though. That's when they though, start getting scared and everything. They can be scared. They should be scared at this point. I'm yeah. trying to send people to but prison. I understand. I'm trying to take people's homes. They, I'm trying right. to ruin people's lives at this I point. I understand that. I'll get them out of here. We'll replace it. All right. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got replacements lined up for yeah. every position that I'm about right. to have somebody removed yeah. from. I'm going to be in control at the end of this. Yeah. Okay. Right. I got an end goal, man. I'm going to be on the Human Rights Commission. All right. We're going to get everybody trained That's properly. Cool. It won't yeah. happen again. I'll be, the, awesome. I'll be the one that makes it stop. As you can see, Chris is super confident that he's going to go to court and he's going to crush it. So how embarrassing must it be for him when he made a feeble attempt at a defense and then simply gave up, changed his plea to guilty on all charges, and got sentenced to jail time? And these are the cases of uh, State versus Christopher Throgmorton. Have I pronounced that correctly, sir? Yes, sir. All right. According to Christina Espar, there was not a conflict. She, uh, she was the... DCS attorney and a judge, I'm going to object at this point. It's getting way outside what the issues are and getting into a lot of hearsay stuff. Your response? It's hearsay at all, Your Honor. Every bit of this is proven by a cost of her docket. Well, let's stick to the time frame. That's really the crux of your four seat motion here. So. Not necessarily. I believe that my. Well, I think it is. So let's stick to the time frame. Your Honor, if I may take a small pause here, I, I would just like to you know, make sure that's on the I'm very nervous. So I apologize if. if you know, I've prepared the best that I can for this. Um, I'm not going to lie. I understand we're here today and we're doing this. But, you know, three trials back to back to back. I, you know, I, I made my best attempt. But this was a lot to prepare for. Certainly. Um, I was exhausted before I even got here. Um, and I don't know that there's much that I can really present to the This is why it's a good idea to, one, not break the law. And two, if you do somehow run afoul of the law, get competent counsel instead of assuming that you're the greatest legal mind of all time. Court that I have in my, you know, my motions to dismiss these cases, one of which has never been ruled upon at all. The other two were dismissed by a judge who re recused as a conflict of interest. So, and the state has provided no written response really to anything up until this most recent motion. So, I'm, I'm a little confused myself. Well, and if you'll recall, that's why I cautioned you about the perils of self-representation when you decided to dismiss your public defender and didn't want a public defender from Indianapolis to come up in. Well, perhaps I can I renew your faith. If I feel comfortable moving forward now that we're in this, you know, now that we're here. Well, here we are. So, we need to get him done. Why don't you be quiet for a moment? Let me hear from the state in response. Thank you. Uh, I'll, I'll include in my order a denial of your motions. You can take it up to the Court of Appeals. I would like to appeal that specifically. Uh, when we're all through, you may have the option to appeal. I may. Right. I'm not in the jail. All right. Your Honor, I, was, I would like to make a note for the record. I was not prepared for 1721 first. I'm prepared for 1737 first. As the court is correct, we did agree mm -hmm. to. And the pocket well, will reflect that. Since we're going to do all three in the same day, or same two days, hope you're prepared for all three of them. He's wanted a trial. I've seen all his postings on the internet. We're demanding a trial, so here we are to do a trial. Right. 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 One at a time, gentlemen. Sir, do you have some cross-examination of uh, this witness? Uh, so, Mr. Otis, um, you mentioned that there's a, a history of me refusing to leave. Yes. City Hall. Do you know if I have been convicted of trespassing based upon any of this history? Uh, are these merely accusations by the city, or is there some sort of proof of me being guilty of criminal trespassing past? There's been multiple instances where various city officials have advised you to leave and you refuse to leave. I'm not aware of you being convicted of 
trespassing. So none of those previous instances were were held to meet the criteria in order for you to fight. Your Honor, if I may, him insinuating that I'm refusing to leave is very similar language to basically saying that I was trespassing. So this is your opportunity to question the witness. Okay, so there's no history that you know of where I've been convicted of trespassing based upon not, not the history of the subject. Okay. Um, and you said the officers in numerous instances before were there to force force him to leave? I don't know about force you to leave. I mean, literally the Friday before, three or four days before, you showed up in Annette Leffler's office, who's the mayor's assistant, executive assistant. Um, I'm you, did you, you like the word force? So I'm asking if he... Well, let him finish his answer. I don't need all that extra information of why. Let I'm him finish his answer and then ask impression. another. Will you be quiet for a moment? Yeah. All right. Let him finish. If you don't like his answer, you may follow up with further questions. Court report okay. can only take down one at a time. So, gentlemen, please remember. It's not going well, Chris. It's almost like being a lawyer takes training and experience. Are you, are you the principal or the agent within this relationship with the city of the court? I'm the city of the legal. I'm asking him his opinion on what he thinks his responsibility is for the city of court. Sustain your objection would be a legal conclusion. If I may, Your Honor, ask a, a point of clarity, or I guess, uh, I'm not sure what the correct terminology would be, but I'm, I'm told the docket speaks for itself for everything else. Is there a way that I can get the actual trespassing charge. There, there's several different ways that one can be charged with trespassing. And according to the docket, I'm charged with trespassing on abandoned property, 7A and B. Um, property determined to be abandoned or vacant. And I just want to know, you know, there's a difference between refusing to leave and being on a, a trespass list, which I'm, you know, to the understanding that's why I was arrested. Uh, because I, I'm, my name's on a special list. So what is the actual Indiana code that I'm charged with? Is it 7A, B? Did you uh, get the discovery? Yes. Well, there um, it is. There, there's different IC codes, all, all sorts of paperwork. I have no information other than what's in the discovery that you've been provided. He has the information. So no. That's Counsel, you wanted to be heard. Yes, Your Honor. I guess my issue at this point is this record is going to be horrendous and it's probably terrible for the court reporter, Mr. Drogbar, when not asking questions, but constantly trying to argue with the witness and trying to ask questions to the court, who is not a witness. So I guess I would just ask that he be directed to ask questions to the witness so we can keep this moving along and so the court reporter can make a good record. I would agree. I think most of your comments are better left for a closing argument when their comments make questions to a witness. If you have any further questions. I'm not exactly sure why I was told to leave, Your Honor, and I'm not exactly sure. Now is not the time. Who is it? Who? Do you have who any other questions of this witness? Was it for me to be told to leave? Again, I, I wasn't present, physically present when you were arrested. But your conduct during the end of the Board of Works meeting, you're immediately going to Kareem's office. I advise the Assistant Chief, Julie Smith, that you needed to leave. So you advised the chief that you were leaving? Yes. Were you advised to advise the chief? No, I was not advised. I advised the chief. Okay. Um, your Honor, I would move for this to be dismissed immediately. He, he's not shown a manifestation of consent. Um, he's, he's a department head for the city legal department. He doesn't have the authority to ban me from the whole building. Um, there's numerous cases where this has been outlined. This, this isn't going to cut it. He's, he doesn't have half the elements of the offense. Um, he doesn't have the authority to tell me to leave the building as an agent of the principal. Your motion is executive officer. Your Maybe. motion is premature. Perhaps wait till the state concludes its evidence. The officer doesn't have the authority to tell me to leave. Your motion is case, premature. So. Perhaps you should wait till the state concludes its evidence. Okay, Your Honor, I, I would like to make part of the record for point of appeal. I'd like this dismissed now because he doesn't have the authority to tell me to leave, and I can't refuse to leave an unlawful director. Denied at this time. Okay. Thank you. Do you have other questions? Which, Your Honor, I would maintain that the actual disturbance came from 
Why do you quit, keep asking me? This is your quest time to question. Okay, Mr. Otis, are you aware of a police officer who is neither an owner of the property nor an agent of an owner of the property cannot create a trespass violation by asking the patron to leave and then arrest the patron when he refuses to do so? I'm going to object to the relevance and legal conclusion. Are you aware that the police... Will you allow me to rule on the objection? I'm sorry? Are you, will you allow me to rule on the objection? Sorry. It is a legal conclusion, and I'll sustain your objection. This is bad. It's really bad. If you want a tutorial on how not to lawyer, this is it. I'm concerned based off of your criminal history and your conduct at City Hall, particularly with women, your behavior towards women. I would object to all of this. this well, you asked the question, so opinion. overall the objection, you asked that question. You display knives to the former city attorney, put knives on a table when she was pregnant. I don't see any... I would object to that. There's no factual basis for this. It's in the confidentiality agreement. He just, he doesn't have the records that prove that happened. Maybe you shouldn't ask the question. Overall the objection. Where did you get that information? Multiple employees, the police have told me that. I think Becca has told me that. I thought I read it somewhere, but if I'm wrong, I, maybe I did read it somewhere. But I, it's been reported to me by multiple people. He displayed knives to the, at the police department one time, um, according to uh, police officers. Um, you you make failed threats that I think, again, you say that I'm that answering that. your question, Mr. Crawford. You, you continually make veiled threats that uh, when you ask about why are you charged, I think they walk in front. I'm not I would object to him testifying to all this hearsay, Your Honor. It seems to be a bunch of hearsay that he has no personal knowledge of. Then why did you ask the question? I, I'm simply asking what, what legal basis he has. It seems to be all of his opinion. Well, it's a pretty broad question you asked. Okay. So other than your emotion... Well, I'm still answering the question. So I don't know. You displayed knives to the pregnant city attorney. Object to hearsay. Again, Overruled. you asked me what I understood. These are what people report to me. You've cussed me out multiple times. You've, you've cussed out police officers. Um, you make women feel uncomfortable. Your conduct towards county employees has been deplorable. Um, every interaction, if somebody doesn't give you the answer that you want, you create a very hostile, intense situation. And I'm not, because of the judge's prior ruling, getting into your specific form of criminal conduct, but based off of that, it is concerning, we are concerned that you may show up with a gun and action may have to be taken to stop that. I think at this point, Chris realized that he's made a huge mistake. Your Honor, um, this seems to be pretty much about my personality and whether various public officials like me. And I don't really feel like I'm going to be allowed to present the facts that actually matter, so I don't, I don't know if I have much else to say. Okay. Um, no further questions of this witness? Based honestly, Your Honor. No further questions no further of this witness? Thank may, you. I, you I, may I, not. I actually plead guilty. You, may, you want to plead guilty? Or I, I may want to change my plea, and if I would be allowed a couple seconds here to voice myself. Um, well, hold on a second. Hold on a second. This is... You, did you just say you wanted to plead guilty to the charges? I said I may want to plead guilty. I may have... A, Your Honor, I don't want to waste this court's time as, as much as that may be everyone's belief here. And to be perfectly honest, I would love to argue this out based upon the First Amendment principles and stuff like that, but the bottom line is I don't want to feel... I don't want to offend this court. And before you... I'd like to plead no contest by all accounts, Your Honor. Don't have that in Indiana on misdemeanor charges, only on tickets so, infractions. Uh, my options are guilty and not guilty. Yes, sir. I'd like to plead guilty, Your Honor. And there you have it, folks. Sovereign citizen and legal genius Chris Throgmorton threw in the towel before the first witness was even finished. If you want to see the entire trial, it's on Van Bellion's channel. I'll add a link in the description box if I remember. The final outcome was that he got three 180-day sentences that run consecutively. All but a few weeks of that were suspended, so he will do a little jail time, and there were some small fines and some no-contact orders. He doesn't have a job, surprise, surprise, so he won't have to worry about missing work. But as we saw today, he's an idiot, so I'm sure we'll be seeing him again real soon. 
If you like this video and you want to see more stupid in the future, please like and subscribe.